I'm stirring my coffee with a chopstick. helps people in the house sleep in the morning rather than hearing a ringing bell of a spoon in a coffee cup. Hold on one second. Oh, that's nice. Nothing like that first cup. Mm. Cold morning, hot cup of coffee, welcome to another ASMR at 5. <clears throat> A few thoughts for this morning. As I'm drinking out of the unstuck coffee mug, I'm thinking about a a hot air balloon with those ballast bags holding it down and they release the bags and the hot air balloon rises. Twenty seventeen, I've been saying this is the year that you get unstuck. Now we're gonna to get to the point where and you you have about a month left to get unstuck. But now I'm gonna start saying twenty eighteen is the year that you get unstuck. What does unstuck mean? Unstuck means that all of the ballast bags are off. They've been cut away. And that you can rise freely. I am so unstuck. Zero holding me back. As a matter of fact, if there's anything holding me back, it's me. And nine times out of ten, and I'll speak for myself, you apply it to you. Nine times out of ten, the things that hold us back are here. Not here. Not in reality. The unstuck lifestyle is a, is a lifestyle where you're not being held back by emotions. You're not being held back by finances. You're not being held back by relationships. You're not being held back by your health issues or limitations or you're working freely within your limitations and at maximum output for your limitations. I've, I have disabled people, people that are confined to homes, beds, wheelchairs, who are becoming unstuck. I have people who are, and when I say people, subscribers like yourself, who are able-bodied, who continue to make bad choices day after day after day, and there's nothing wrong with you except here. And I'm not condemning, because I was there once. <laughs> Can you hear the cat? That's too funny. What is stopping you from anything in life? Last night I went to Rock and Roll Tuesday. Many of you know that was a tradition of mine that I usually do from about mid-November till about May. And that's when a friend of mine, a uh, friend of mine's band is playing at this, this bar. And earlier in the year you heard me talk about reward systems and I used to say to myself I had this w awakening and I think I even did a video on how do you reward yourself and I did an honest assessment of how I reward myself 
then I was rewarding myself with crap, rewarding myself with alcohol, rewarding myself with, with bad food. And I asked the question, why doesn't anyone reward themselves with a workout or a healthy salad? It's always negative stuff and vices. You don't owe it to yourself to do things that are bad for your mind or bad for your body. I've been working on my mindset a lot recently. The latest book, and I'll put a link down below, is Gorilla Mindset by Mike Cernovich. And I got the audio book, and I've been listening to it every day for three days so far. And I'm going to listen to it every day until I just can't take anymore, until it makes a change in me, because I know what I need to do as I enter into 2018. Don't get the paper book. Get the audio book and listen while you're driving. Listen while you're dressing. Listen while you're ironing your clothes. Listen while you're folding your clothes or doing laundry or something like that. If you can, get yourself a notebook, just a, a, a spiral bound notebook or a composition book and take notes. Stop the audio book, write something down. Start the audio. You're going to find that listening to audiobooks is so super efficient. I mean, you could sit in, in a low light situation. I, I have found that as my eyes have gotten worse as I've gotten older. That, uh, like right now, I don't have glasses on and I'm looking at the monitor and I can, I'm seeing it's fuzzy. <laughs> I don't even have my glasses on. Here's my glasses right here. Now I can see you, but I don't want the reflection all the time. In audiobook, you put in your ear pods, your headphones. For most people, it's listening to the audiobook on their phone, or you could do it on your laptop or wherever. But you could sit in low light situations. I know when I read, I have to have super bright light. But with audiobooks, you can just sit quietly. You could put a headphone on. You could put in one ear pod and listen and just focus on what the author is saying. Like the book that I, that I wrote at the end of the summer. I'm going to be releasing it on audio. I don't think I'm going to do the written version. I think I'm going to do the audio version because more people will listen to a book than read a book, I've discovered. Although I like books. And the book Gorilla Mindset is about just getting your mind in the optimal condition where it receives good stuff, rejects bad stuff. I really like it. It's, um, it kind of reminds me of, uh, I remember over the summer I got this little, this book, a 40 page booklet called The Millionaire Booklet by Grant Cardone and I read it non-stop, non-stop for about three months, every single day. And you want to talk about saturation and staying focused. It fired me up every single day for about three months. I am going to listen to Gorilla Mindset by Mike Cernovich. I'm probably going to interview him too, most likely. until I have a gorilla mindset. I thought I was tough. And this book has shown me, the audiobook has shown me some of the flaws that I have in the way that I 
deal in life with certain things. It has helped confirm a lot of good things in me too. Like I've been working out now for a couple months, feel good, good, hard. Everything is like tight, hard. The hard body is back, it feels good. But this is, this morning's talk is is a reflection on last night. So like after work, I work in a salon, as you know. I decided I was going to go to Rock and Roll Tuesday. So what did I do? I drove down there. And it's about nine miles beyond my home, the salon is. So getting to the bar was an extra nine miles. So it gave me more time to listen to the audiobook. But here's the point. I sat in a bar last night. The last time I was there, now, my buddy's band stops playing there at the end of May, and then they play at the Jersey Shore all summer and through the fall. And then they start up, like now, around Thanksgiving, at this other bar. But I don't see the band for about six months, which means I don't go to that bar for about six months. Last night was my first night back there in six months. And what did I do? I got a beer and I got a plate of hot wings. Ate the hot wings. I like buffalo wings. Drank the beer. The shot glasses, you know, like when people buy you a drink, they, the bartender comes over and puts a upside down shot glass in front of you people were buying me drinks and I I can't uh, I'm, I'm a one and done guy I honestly I had a, a second beer and I drank about that much of it I just I couldn't do it because I've cultivated a lifestyle where my food is is fuel you know you put the you don't put maple syrup or molasses in your car do you you put what the manufacturer recommends that the car will run optimally on in your gas tank, right? You don't put water in there. You put gas. And if you drive a certain type of car, you put a certain type of octane gas in there for the car to run great. I'm a car. You are a car. You don't run optimally on alcohol. You don't run optimally on hot wings. All that being said, I got up this morning at 3.50, 10 minutes to four. Just woke up. And honestly, I feel like shit. Feel like shit. love my coffee, but after six months of not having wings, you know how sometimes you think like, oh, I'm going to just indulge a little bit or have a, you know, a little guilty pleasure kind of thing. It didn't work. It wasn't pleasurable for me. Now, I'm a different person. It's funny. I posted a picture on Instagram of the last night that I was there. Camo hat. And believe me, I'm not putting anyone down. If you saw half my friends, <laughs> they look how I used to look when I had the big beard. And that's not a value judgment anyway. And those are just the women. Only kidding about the women part. So, that Tuesday night rock and roll may have been good for the old. George, not for the new George. And it's kind of interesting. I think for me, taking the big beard off was symbolic of a new life. And then not having it for several months and then just kind of growing it back now and keeping it short, kind of like a little Doseki, kind of most interesting man in the world kind of beard. I like this length now. It's perfect for me. I love it. The new me is not settling for the old fuel. 
Does that make sense? The new me cannot operate on the old fuel of hot wings and beer and sitting in a bar with people who are a thousand times more intoxicated than they should be. Not that anyone should be. I sit there and nurse a beer for three hours, honestly. I, I do like a nice cold beer in the summer. In the winter, not, not so much. But there were people that were on their 10th beer, like the people that were sitting to my right. I was on 10. And these are like regulars that are there, and I'm like, yikes. So I woke up feeling like shit, and I got some decisions to make. Because the old fuel doesn't work, and I don't feel good. And I've already got my workout bag packed. I'm going to the gym tonight after work. And I'm getting, everything's coming back. It's nice. I started in the past year. I'd say the past year was the journey to come back. The physique is looking good. You know, the muscles are hard. Nothing's sagging anymore. It's just nice. It feels good. Got my game back. So I have some decisions to make. And as I approach 2018, and as you approach 2018, and you're adopting a guerrilla mindset, what things have to go in your life in order for you to get unstuck? I am so unstuck. It is amazing. Amazing. And I reinforce it with the <laughs> unstuck coffee mug all the time. This reminds me, believe it or not, of good decisions that I've made. And I'm reaping the harvest of making those good decisions. Today's coffee is brought to you by Fifth Degree North. I'll put the link down below. Best coffee I've ever had. You'll love it. Just a thought for today. The old fuel doesn't power the new you. Get a picture of the new you and then write a list of the habits that you need to develop to build the new you. Does that make sense? Have a great day.